We're not going to let a cool and damp day keep us from enjoying the 50th annual show and reunion here at Pioneer Acres. The museum is located on 50 acres of land and is about 45 minutes northeast of Calgary. The theme of the 50th annual show is horses and horse-drawn equipment, but we're going to start by checking out some of these antique cars that are on display. Next up, we're going inside the Pioneer World building. This is a more traditional museum in the sense of it has displays and artifacts laid out showing things from, you know, the early 1900s era. This poster is for the third annual show held back in 1972. Admission was only a dollar back then. Adjusted for inflation, that's only about six dollars or half of what admission costs today. What is it about kids' toys from the early 20th century that make them look like they want to steal your soul? Back outside now. Since the theme of the show is horses and horse-drawn equipment, it only seems appropriate we actually finally see some horses here. Now getting a chance to look at the Millerville Musical Ride. This is an all-ages group of riders who come out and do patterns and things set to music, and a quite a talented group of people. Pioneer Acres is also really well known for the collection of tractors here on the property. All sorts of different makes, models, years, sizes. They have got a little bit of everything on site. Of course, it's not just agriculture, they also have fire trucks. And it's not a large collection, but here's a couple of them. Uh, the one here on the right is a 74 Ford, and on the left we have a early to mid 60s Chev, which is one of my personal favorites. I'm just going to ignore those instructions, hardly seems fair to all the people already inside the building. Pioneer Acres does not have a large collection of historic buildings, but we're going to go check one out here. This is the Long House, so named because three generations of the Long family lived in this house since 1914. It was originally built by a fella named John Thomas and was located northwest of Iracana. The museum has restored the house to make it look as it would have appeared in 1929. And you can see people have come from all over the province to attend the annual show. And a gratuitous road grader shot here for my friend Frank Lloyd, who always drives the road grader at the Threshing Bee at the Sukunin Museum near Moose Jaw every year. Horses of all sorts of different breeds and colors and sizes on display here. It's quite an impressive sight when they have a whole bunch of them lined up here along the track. Hotel, that's it. Beautiful animals down here. Just for our show. I think this is just one year and 27 years of my right friend. That's a strong bit he's got in the mouth. If you've got a horse, like I say, that don't want to pay attention, put the line down here. Checking out some of the truck displays, I really like this fire truck. The 
uh, light siren combination on the roof is really cool. And we also really like this truck, both for the orange creamsicle color and this artwork on the door. The interior of this truck is pretty much the epitome of what a big rig is supposed to look like. Of course, we cannot pass up a chance to come out and check out the boneyard here in the back, back corner of Pioneer Acres. Long way away from where all the crowds are and all the displays are, but this is where some really interesting stuff hangs out. Another fun day at Pioneer Acres. We love coming here every year. And this year was especially awesome for me being a horse person because the theme was horses and horse-drawn equipment. So lots of cool horses, especially draft horses to see. And of course, all the old tractors and cars and just a really fun day. And speaking of horses, one last thing we have to check out before we head for the gate and start our trip back home. Look at this. This is a 16 horse hitch pulling four wagons. This is a sight you just do not see on a regular basis. Quite an impressive feat to get all of these horses going in the same direction. Well, sort of going in the same direction. A few little issues here and there. But wow, what a sight. So thank you very much for watching, uh, coming along with us today to Pioneer Acres. It is a really great little place to visit. We've been out here multiple times. We were out here last year for the 49th annual show. Always a good time. We, we really love coming out here, seeing a lot of the same exhibits, but every time you see things, you get to see things a little bit different or focus on different areas. Certainly worth a return visit. Or if you haven't made the trip out here, you should, uh, should do it. You owe it to yourself. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Appreciate it. That's it for now.